What is up gangsters? My name is Beansy and today we are making chicken wings. First start by preheating your oven to 375. Lay out your fresh chicken wings on a baking sheet, preferably one with walls to catch the fat as it comes out. Don't crowd the tray. The wings shouldn't be touching one another. I like to put all the flats together and place the drum mats alternating ankle to knee. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes, then flip and do the same. We are going for crisp and juicy. The first sauce we are going to make is an easy demi. You only need two or three ingredients for this. Wine, stock, and butter, if you want to do it right. I don't. Choose a stock, doesn't really matter. The wine should match the stock in color. If it's a light stock, use a white wine. If it's a dark stock, use a red wine. I'm using white wine, because reasons. And a stock that was in the fridge. If I had to guess, I'd say it was pork. Turn the burner on high, and let boil for 45 minutes to an hour. The ratio should be half cup of wine to a liter of stock, or one part wine, eight part stock. If you're going to add butter, it has to be done at a time when you can boil off the water, but not too early or it'll burn. And that's why I'm not using it. I reduce this down until it's almost a syrup. Still a little loose, demi means one tenth, but it's not always that. It's a feeling and you'll see that when you try it. This is an enamel saucepan, it's naturally nonstick, and you might want to use nonstick for ease of cleanup because it gets so dirty. <laughs> the next sauce is my own super easy recipe, influenced by Indonesian peanut sauce. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. I like Adam's Crunchy because I don't mind stirring for 10 minutes every time I want peanut butter. A tablespoon of sriracha, tablespoon of poison, tablespoon of dark soy sauce, tablespoon of oil, and half a lime, juiced. Stir to combined, adjust as you see fit. More salty, add more soy. More sweet, add more hoisin. More hot, add more sriracha. And to thin the sauce, add more oil. The third sauce, is pesto. We just did a video on this last week. I'll put a link to the video. When dressing wings with thicker sauces as we are today, don't be afraid to add some lubricants, some butter or a splash of Evo, but a true gangster will spoon in some of that nice chicken fat. Pesto isn't one of my favorite chicken wing sauces. It's good, don't get me wrong, it's just not my thing. It doesn't hurt to have serving options. Not everyone's going to like spicy. A good host should have a variety of flavors, and this fits the bill. It's going to get some guests talking in a good way. Next is what I like to call peanut butter wings because it freaks people out. It's really more of a sticky, spicy Asian. These are messy. It sticks to my fingers, it sticks to my beard, and they are absolutely habit forming. It's really hard to stop once you get into them. It also looks like a horror scene while you're eating them. I would get judgy looks for eating these at work. The last flavor, and by far and away, nowhere near the least, demi glaze. I have another way to make these that's even better but this is the best way to eat chicken wings. I've never had a better wing than demi-glaze. Sometimes the best dish is something so simple, you wonder why nobody else has made this a thing. I tell people about this and their faces will go blank. What do you mean you spend an hour making chicken wing sauce? In my defense, the stove did 99% of the work. I just had to think to do it. Inside of the hour it took to cook the wings, you can easily make these three sauces. Don't let that limit you. Try something different. You don't know that it doesn't work for you unless you try. Please consider subscribing Subscribing. There's a lot more original recipes coming. I can't stop the amount of insane creativity that keeps flowing through my head. Thanks for watching. But it's true, gangst. <laughs> it's also. I'll put it. I'll put a link to it. Somewhere.